Hello mga kawawmat, sa video lesson na ito, ididiscuss natin ang tungkol sa trapezoid. So trapezoid is a quadrilateral in which one and only one pair of opposite sides of a trapezoids are parallel. So again, so ang trapezoid is a quadrilateral in which one and only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Hindi siya kagaya ng parallelogram na meron dalawang pares ng opposite sides na parallel. So dito sa trapezoid, isang pares lang ng opposite sides ang parallels. So ang tawag natin doon sa parallel sides of a trapezoids ay tinatawag nating bases. And then the non-parallel sides are called the legs. So ito... Saka ito, ito yung parallel sides natin. So, itong, itong non-parallel sides, ito yung tinatawag natin na legs. So, the pair of angles formed by a base, so ito yung base natin, and then the legs, ay tinatawag nating base angles. So, ito, tinatawag natin silang base angles. So, for example, we have a trapezoid A, B, C, D. So, yung angle A, D, C. Ito, angle A, D, C. So, itong angle na to. And yung angle B, C, D. So, ang angle na to. So, again, itong angle na to sa ka-angle na to ay tinatawag nating lower base angles. Again, ang tawag natin dito ay lower base angles. So, yung angle D, A, B naman or yung angle A natin and then angle A, uh, CBA or angle B natin, so itong dalawang angle na to ay tinatawag nating upper base angles. So meron tayong tinatawag na isosceles trapezoid. Tuwing kailan tayo magkakaroon ng isosceles trapezoid? If the legs of the trapezoids are congruent, then the trapezoid is called an isosceles trapezoid. Again, so ito yung legs natin, di ba? So kapag ang legs natin Kapag yung legs ng trapezoid are congruent, so ang tawag natin doon is an isosceles trapezoid. So, this is some properties of an isosceles trapezoid. Legs are congruent, so equal yung legs natin. Base angles are congruent, so yung lower base angle natin ay equal sila sa isa't isa. Ganon din yung upper base angles natin. Kung anong sukat nito, ganon din yung sukat nito. So, kung anong sukat nito, ganon din ang sukat nito. Diagonals are congruent. So, diagonals of the isosceles trapezoids are congruent. So, itong diagonal na to ay equal sa diagonal na to. Okay, pero tingnan natin class that itong line segment na to, mula dito sa intersection ng dalawang diagonal papunta dito, sa itong line segment na to, sila ay equal. Tapos ito naman, saka ito, yung line segment na to, equal naman sila. And then, kasama na yung properties, yung ibang properties ng trapezoid na na banggit natin kanina sa unang slide. Okay, median of a trapezoid is a segment which join the midpoints of the non-parallel sides or the legs. Okay, ito yung legs natin. It is a parallel to the bases and has a length equal to one half the sum of the length of the bases. So, since ito yung base side, ito, itong parallel sides natin ay base natin, di ba, sa trapezoid. So, para makuha natin yung media ng trapezoid, i-add lang natin yung measure nito, saka yung measure nito, tapos divide it by 2. Okay, so let's say kunin natin yung uh, measure ni EF, yung media natin na EF. So, ang gawin lang natin, kunin yung measure ni BC plus the measure of AD, then divide it by 2. Okay, so again, so para makuha natin yung media, add lang natin yung basis natin, yung measure ng basis natin, and then divide it by 2. So, for example, given the trapezoid A, B, C, D, identify the following. So, so yung legs natin. Ano yung legs natin dito? That is, A, B, so A, B, and C, D. Okay, so next. Yung basis natin. Yung basis natin dito is B, B C, 
and AD or AD and BC. And the lower base angles, so ano yung lower base angles natin? So ito, angle A and angle D. So angle A and angle D. How about the upper base angles? So that is angle B and angle C. Okay, so ano yung median natin? Ano yung median ng trapezoid? That is EF. So if yung BA natin, so yung BA natin is 10, ano yung sukat ni BE? Ito. Yes, yeah, so alam na so kung midpoint ito, ito yung median, no? ito yung midpoint ni BA. So ibig sabihin si EA is equal kay EB. So therefore kung ang BA natin is 10, so kalahati no ng BA. So that is 5. Uh, BA is 5 and ganun din kay AE 5 then. Okay? If CF, okay, so if CF is 7.5, what is the, anong value ng DF natin? So CF is 7.5, so anong value ng DF? 7.5 then. Yung CD, twice nung 7.5, diba? Uh, CD natin ay twice ni uh, CF, and that is 7.5 plus 7.5, so that is 15. Next. Kung ang BC natin ay 20 and then yung AD natin is 30, ano yung sukat ng media natin? Okay, so kanina, di ba, add. Okay, i-add natin yung dalawang sukat ng base natin. So, BC plus AD divided by 2. So, 20 plus 30 divided 2. That is 50 divided 2. So, EF is 25. Next. Kapag yung BC natin ay 12, tapos yung EF naman natin is 18, ano ang sukat ni AD? Ito ang hinahanap ngayon. So, apply lang natin yung formula kanina. So, EF is equal to BC plus AD divide it by 2. So, substitute natin. So, ang EF natin is 18, tapos yung BC natin is 12. And then cross multiply 18 times 2, that is 36, is equal to 12 plus AD. Using transpos uh, transposition, so yung 12 natin, lipat natin sa left side. So AD is equal to 36 minus 12, so that is 24. So ibig sabihin, AD is 24. Next, yung, if yung BC natin is 23, and then yung EF natin is 29, Ano ang sukat ng AD kapag yan ay 11x plus 2? So, ang unang gawin, solve for x. ba? Solve for x. So, ganun din. So, 29, substitute natin, is equal to 23 plus 11x plus 2. Kasi yun ang binigay sa given ng AD natin. 11x plus 2. Divide it by 2. So, therefore... Uh, 23 plus 2, so combine natin, that is 25. And then cross multiply, 29 times 2, that is 58. And then lipat si 25. So 11x uh, is equal to 33. Kasi 58 minus 25, yan ay 33. Divide both side by 11, so x is equal to 3. Okay? So makukuha natin si AD ngayon. AD is equal to 11x plus 2. Substitute lang natin yung x natin, uh, yung 3 natin kay x. So, 11 times 3 plus 2. So, that 11 times 3, that is 33 plus 2. The answer is 35. Alright? Another example. So, given the isosceles trapezoid warm with diagonals WR and AM intersect at point E. So, yung WM natin, so... Ang mas maganda class, di ba, nagkapag-draw kayo ng figure, uh, ilagay nyo yung mga label, no? yung measure natin. So, yung WM daw natin is 17. So, kung 17 yung WM natin, since isosceles trapezoid to, yung legs nila are congruent. So, kung ang WM ay legs ng tra trapezoid natin, so, ibig sabihin yung AR ay 17 din. Okay, so ilagay na agad natin para mamaya madali na lang natin kunin kung ano yung mga itatanong. And then, WR is 21, so ito ay 21 daw. So, yung buong sukat nito ay 21, pero 
uh, mamaya na natin ilagay kasi meron pa tayong isang given yung AE okay yung AE natin is 6 so ibig sabihin itong sukat nito yung WE natin ay 6 din okay so sabi kanina yung WR daw natin yung diagonal WR natin is 21 Kung mula dito hanggang kay point E ay 6 na, so mula kay point E hanggang kay R, ilan? Ilan yung sukat nun? Kung ang buong sukat is 21? 15. Diba? Kasi 15 plus 6, 21. So therefore, kung si ER is 15, ganun din si EM, 15 din. Ano pa yung ibang given? The angle WMR. So WMR, so ito yon Itong angle na to, that is... 52 degree. So, sabi diba kapag isosceles trapezoid, base angles are congruent. So, kung si angle M is 52 degree, so equal siya dito. So, therefore, si angle R ay 52 degree din. So, paano natin makukuha si angle W saka si angle A? So, alalahanin natin na ang trapezoid natin ay quadrilateral saka Yung quadrilateral natin, yung buong sukat ng angle ng quadrilateral ay 360 degrees. So, kung meron na tayong 52 degree, kasi saka dito 52 degree, ilan na lahat yon 104. So, ang gagawin natin, si 104 i-minus natin kay 360. So, ilan, na, ilan yung sukat? So, 360 minus 104. So, ilan ang makukuha natin? Diba? 360 minus 104 equals 256. So, ibig, ibig sabihin, itong dalawang angle nito ay 256. So, kap yung sum nila. Okay? So, since congruent din yung angle nito, itong dalawa nito, since base angle din sila, so, hati natin yung 256 into 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle W natin is 128 Tapos yung angle A natin ay 128 din. Kasi kapag in mo yung dalawa, that is 256. So kapag in natin yung apat na angle na yan, ang sum niyan ay 360 degrees. Okay. So halos lahat na meron na tayong nailagay. So kunin na natin ito. So what is the measure of AR? So saan yung AR? Ito. So kitang kita mga agad. That is equal to 17. What is the measure of AM? So, yung diagonal AM natin. So, meron kang 6, tapos 15. So, 6 plus 15, that is 21. Okay. And that alam natin na yung WR ay congruent kay AM. Kasi nga, sa isosceles, tri isosceles trapezoid, diagonals are congruent. Next, EM. Ito, EM. Ito lang. Mula kay point E, papunta dito kay M. So, ilan yun? 15 is equal to 15. Next, WE. So, point the, uh, ito, yung line segment to WE, the answer is, is equal to 6. ER. So, ER. So, ER is equal to 15. How about angle ARM? So, itong angle na to. Angle ARM. So, that is equal to 52 degrees. How about angle M, W, A? M, W, A. So, kapag ganito class, kapag uh, yung name ng angle natin is 3 letters, so, ang tingnan nyo dyan, yung nasa gitna. So, dun kayo titingin. So, that is also angle W. So, angle W, is, that is equal to 180 degrees. How about W, angle W, A, R? So, ito. Yes, that is 128 degrees. And how about angle WMR? WMR plus WAR. So, itong angle na to plus angle na to. So, 52 degrees plus 128 degrees. That is 180 degrees. Okay. Next, angle WMR. So, ito pa rin. Plus... ARM. So, ito. 52 degrees plus 52 degrees. The answer is 104 degrees. Another. So, given BD. 
So, yung diagonal BD natin is 7x and diagonal CA natin is 2x plus 5. Find the value of x tapos yung mesh, kung ano yung value ni BD and CA. Okay, so of course, solve for x muna. So, we all know that kung uh, this is isosceles trapezoid, no? If this is isosceles trapezoid, BA, so nakalimutan ko ilagay, so this figure is isosceles trapezoid, that uh, BD is equal to AC. So, therefore, 7X is equal to 2X plus 5. So, transpose natin yung 2X. So, 7X minus 2X is equal to 5. The answer is 5X is equal to 5. Divide both equation by 5. So, X is equal to 1. Then, kunin na natin yung value ng BD. So, BD is equal to 7X. Substitute natin yung 1 kay X. So, 7 times 1, the answer, BD is equal to 7. Ganun din kay CA is equal to 2x plus 5. Substitute natin si 1. So, 2 times 1 plus 5, the answer is 7. So, dyan makikita natin na they are equal. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.